Here's how to install Tesseract OCR. Now there's two ways you can install Tesseract. The easiest way is through the pre-built binaries, which at the time of recording gives you access to Tesseract version 4, or you can build it from source, which gives you access to version 5. If version 4 is all you need, then save yourself the hassle of building it from source and use the pre-built binaries, which you can install by typing in sudo app install Tesseract OCR, and you're pretty much done. But if you want version 5, then you'll need to build from source, which requires a bit of disk space. So if you're coming straight from the OpenCV tutorial and you built OpenCV from source, then you'll have to delete the OpenCV folder first because you'll run out of disk space during the build. And so to do that, it's just sudo rmr opencv. I've already deleted mine though. Once that's done, we'll go to this page, which explains how to install Tesseract OCR. To start off, there's a dependency on a package called Leptonica, which we'll need to install first. I think it's an image processing package. So we'll start by typing in sudo apt-get install lib leptonica-dev. Then we can clone the git repo with sudo git clone https github.com tesseract ocr tesseract git. Once that's downloaded, we'll change directory cd into it. And the next step is to run the autogen shell script with sudo dot forward slash autogen dot sh. Now, if you're getting this error, it's because we're missing these packages. It's not 100% clear what the name of the missing packages are, but it's automake and libtool. So we'll download them with sudo apt-get install automake libtool. Then rerun sudo dot forward slash autogen dot sh. The next step is sudo dot forward slash configure then sudo make and this step took about 50 minutes so you know grab a drink or go out or something next is sudo make install then sudo ld config sudo make training and sudo make training hyphen install Cool. So the next step, according to the Markdown docker, is to install one language and the OSD train data file. What they don't mention is where to install it or where to get the files from. So if we go back to Tesseract OCR and test data, we see the language data here that we need to download. But before you do that, you'll need to change directory in your TinkerHT to where this data is supposed to be stored, which isn't Tesseract test data. It's actually in cd user local share test data. Once you're in this folder, you can use wget to download the train data language files. So let's just get the URL for these files back in Windows. So that's going to be sudo wget https github.com forward slash tesseract ocr test data raw main eng dot train data and we'll do the same for osd dot train data so we'll just press up and replace eng with osd then to test it's all working we'll go back to the tesseract page scroll down to the running Tesseract section and refer to the example documentation. And this line is what we need to run. And here we have a sample image to test against. So we'll download this sample image too. And let's go back to the Tesseract folder with CD Tesseract, then sudo wget https tesseract hyphen ocr dot github.io forward slash test doc images eurotext.png and finally we'll run this line so that'll be sudo tesseract eurotext.png output base that's just the name of the text file the output text file 
the language we'll use is English and the page segmentation mode is three. Uh, PSM is page segmentation mode. I think there's like 14 of them. Um, you can Google what each one of those modes specialize in. Then we'll list and we can see the output.txt file has been created. So let's open that up with nano output.txt and there you go. It's converted the image to text. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, to check what version you installed, which is probably what I should have done in the first place, type in Tesseract, double hyphen version, and it's version five. Congratulations, you've got the latest version of Tesseract OCR installed.